Before I introduce Mayor Carpenter, I would like to bring on Joe Miranda, who's the President of the Board of Directors of Brockton Community Access, to extend his greetings. Come on up, Joe. Thank you, Mark, and good evening to all of you guys that decided to show up on this beautiful Saturday night. It's the first event that we're doing in the past. I believe last time we did something like this was about 10 years ago. And Mark, as Mark mentioned, I just became the president um, about a month ago. And one of the first things we discussed in the board meeting, it was to have a night like this because I think it's very special. We showcase all the volunteers and all the producers for the hard work that they do at BCA. Um, this tonight is for you guys. This is our way, BCA, BCA's way of saying thank you for all the hard work. We have a lot of um, certificates and awards to give out tonight and some great food and some music, so I hope you guys enjoy your night. Hey, it's, uh, it's great to be here with you. Uh, I, I try to make this event every year so that uh, I can just personally thank all the folks who volunteer their time at BCA, produce great community programming for the city of Brockton. Um, I've been around BCA for a long, long time. Uh, there was a time I used to do a few hockey games and things uh, as a volunteer on BCA. My, myself, I so much believe in what the mission of community television is, uh, to allow us to share information with the community, to allow all the various communities within our city uh, a platform to, uh, to communicate with all of us. And there's so many great shows that are produced on BCA. And I have to tell you, even though I've been involved in BCA, before, prior to becoming mayor, I really didn't fully appreciate how many people in the city watch the BCA local programming. It's true. And then I became mayor, and as I started doing I would constantly, people will approach me and say, I saw this, I saw that, this. And it's always things, events, or... Uh, shows that they became you know, aware of something through watching uh, one of the BCA channels. So I, I really do truly appreciate what BCA means to us as a city uh, and also the efforts of everyone here in this room to make that possible because we know it's really a very, it's a very small staff, it's a short bench at BCA and the majority of the work is often done by volunteers like yourselves. So, uh, I truly appreciate everyone. Um, we do have a few citations to um, give away here. So what I think I'd like to do, we're, we're going to recognize a number of folks that are different milestones with their programming. And uh, so let me just read the citation once and then I'll call each of the individuals up here uh, to, to please accept uh, this citation on behalf of the city and appreciation uh, of all the work at BCA. So it says, be it known that the mayor of Brockton hereby extends his congratulations to, and I'll read the names off to you in a second, uh, for your commitment to producing content to air on Brockton Community Access is commended. You have expanded the outreach of your message by consistently creating programming for BCA. You've provided many hours of information and entertainment for your numerous followers and viewers. We thank you for your ever, efforts in serving the city of Brockton. Therefore, it gives me great pleasure to present this citation to you as a symbol of our appreciation. And each one of these citations uh, is signed by me today and presented on behalf of the city. So let me just call up uh, each of the recipients one at a time. Uh, first, I would like to recognize uh, Pastor Houston Creighton of the Lincoln Congregational Church. Is Pastor Creighton here? No? Okay. Pastor Creighton is not here. How about Old Colony Elder Services for Community Options? There we go. We're going to have him stand up here. All right, I'll stand right back. Stand right up here. Okay. We're going to bring everybody up and everyone join us. Uh, John Messia, representing the Tri Parish Council. And I should mention, we're recognizing 200 episodes of Community Options uh, with Old Colony Elder Services. And uh, John, we're recognizing for 300 episodes of the Tri Parish Council. Who knows that? Are we going to get the picture? Stay, stay up here, John. 
Congratulations. Next, we'd like to recognize uh, Daniel LeBranch for 550 episodes of Tella Lumiere. Uh, now I'd like to uh, welcome up uh, Josh DeLatch for 550 episodes of A Biblia Fala. And uh, last but not least, I'd like to bring up uh, Mr. Manny Andrade for 900 episodes of Salo Anastina. 900 episodes. The wonderful people behind me, all of them, have committed countless hours away from their families to showcase their community. From 900 shows, Manny, Manny, Manny Andrade, who I met uh, before I even started my job at Brockton Community Access, um, I started with a downtown Brockton holiday parade, and Manny and his crew came to our lower parking lot I don't know if Manny remembers this, to cut down all the brush in the parking lot with uh, machetes. And all he wanted was a donation to the Cape Verdean Association and some French crullers and iced coffee. Do you remember that? Great guy. So um, I'm going to start with 900. I'm going to go the opposite way. We have our own version of Emmys. Joe's going to come and uh, assist. And this is what they look like. We started them in 2016 um, at the Volunteer Appreciation Night over at the War Memorial, and we're going strong with them. So make sure you take the box so nothing happens to it. But this is, I'm going to have Joe present this to, me, to Manny Andrade. Say hello, Ernestina. OK, next up we have. Um, The next show number, we have two 550s. So um, Zadie Dala, did I say that right? A little better? He, Biblia Fala, show number 550. Zadie, thank you for what you do every day. And his wife, it's a family affair with Zadie. His wife helps and, and, and your children as well. So thank you for all you do. Um, also 550 is Daniel LeBranch. Tell a Lumiere. Okay. Uh, Daniel is also being honored at the Haitian Community Partners uh, celebration on April 7th, so give him another round of applause. Good show number. So John Macias, show number 300, Tri-Parish Council, and I have to give a shout out to Peggy Curtis, who uh, started that show, but since she has her hands full with one show, she couldn't do two. Okay, uh, next up is, um, I believe, Community Options which is show number 200. Now, Community Options, Lynn Smith is accepting on behalf of Community Options. Uh, community Options was originally called Senior Options, but there are a lot of people that are heading towards Senior. Obviously, I'm one of them after what I said before. Okay, but um, community op Senior Options turned into Community Options, and that's a great resource, a great program, and we're glad to have them. So thank you, Lynn Smith. And the only one that isn't here, um, who's a good friend of ours, is Reverend Houston Creighton. He has show number 100, and show number 100, whether it's 50 shows, 100 shows, we tend to do the milestones every 50. That's how we, that's how we do them here. 
Um, we do have something for everybody, and we're going to um, also have certificates which we'll pass out. And uh, I will let all of you go take your seat. Thank you. Wonderful. Okay. Thank you. So what what we're going to do now is we we are going to. Um, I have a surprise before I get into all the certificates. Um, the mayor mentioned, Mayor Carpenter mentioned, we can edit that out hopefully. Um, mayor Carpenter mentioned that we have a small dedicated staff here. We are a small dedicated staff and we, we just got a little smaller. Two of our employees have left BCA recently. Um, Matt Nelson went to uh, Lowell Telecommunications, um, moved out of Brockton, flew the nest, and he lives up in uh, he lives up in uh, in Framingham now. And the commute was killing him, so he's working for Lowell. Matt, come on up here. Matt's all decked out. This is the absolute best dressed I've seen Matt since his bar mitzvah. It's, it's true. It's true. Now, I knew Matt. Matt went to Hebrew school with my son. And uh, one of the reasons I hired Matt, Matt came to us through the uh, Mayor Harrington summer video camp and he to, in 2006. And then he sent me a resume and the best email address that I've ever seen in my entire life with, was shortjew06 at yahoo.com. So this guy had it and uh, I, I had to give him an interview just based on that. And he's been with us ever since. He's uh, been our sports director. He's done a lot of work and we have something special for Matt over here. It says MN. Oh, it's under here. I'm going to let Joe open it and read it. Proctor Community Access, BCA, thank you for your dedicated service to Matt, Mad Dog Nelson. Yeah, Mad Dog! Congratulations and good luck, Matt. Mad Dog! Do you want to say something? Yeah, sure. sure. Yeah. Speech! Speech! <laughs> I'm not very good at talking off the cuff. No. What? You know, play by play, talk as you go. Um, BCA has been uh, in my life for 12 years, right? 2006 to 2018, so um, moving on. I'm still around, hanging out. Um, yeah, you can. Uh, you can check out any time you like, but you can never leave. Exactly. Right. But you can't go. Jay, where's that other gift? Huh? No, 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 no. The, you gave it to him. We had, we had a joke gift to him, to, oh, for Matt, too. He's got a bib because Matt likes to eat, and I'm just waiting to go up to Framingham to go visit him. It, 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 it's, uh, it says chef. The only one I know that can make Dorito encrusted chicken and then post it on Facebook. So there you go. Thanks, thank Matt. You, thank you. Matt's not going anyplace. He's still going to be with us part time. So thank you, Matt. And also, we have another employee leaving, uh, Sherry Dant, who is in the back of the room. It's hard to get anything past Sherry because she sees everything that I see, so I kind of had to really sneak around the last couple of days. No, I knew. So, um, <laughs> you know. Okay, well, spoil the surprise, I go know. for it. But Joe's going to hand that one to her. You it. can't. Brockley Community Access, thank you, Sherry, for all your dedicated service you provided to the community and for BCA. Sherry, on behalf of the board, it's an honor to present you this award. Not just because you're a great person, but you're an awesome person. You're a person that whenever any one of us call, not just the board, I know the last meeting we had a couple of days ago, everybody said a lot of great things about you. It's really sad to see you go, 
but I have a feeling you won't go too far because you, the, I can see the passion and love and dedication you have for BCA. Uh, once again, thank you so much. Thank you. Speech, speech, speech. I'm not good at speeches, but BCO, BCA has been my home for probably the past seven years, and it's, it's a community I've grown to love and know a lot about, even though my home is, is further down off of uh, 140, but um, you've all become family to me. So you will all very well be missed. I will miss talking to you on that day-to-day -day basis, but I hope to keep my hands in a little pot for BCA. So, you know, email will work. Um, but yes, BCA has been a lovely place to work and uh, get to know all of you. Thank you. Matt stole my phrase from a song you can check out anytime you like, but you can never leave. She's not going too far either. Just a middle bar. So now we have uh, awards pretty much for everybody in every show. Because um, Joe, our board president, wanted to make sure that you know that we appreciate everything that all of you do. We have different people that do different shows. We have sports. We have all sorts of things. So the folks that got the the big awards for the milestones, I'm not going to call you back up, I'm just going to give you your certificate, but we're going to start uh, with a, a show that did get a milestone the last time, and that's A Deadly Silence with uh, Peggy and Larry Curtis, so come on up. You know, the beautiful thing about my show is I get to be surrounded by beautiful women that make me look marvelous on TV. Peg, my producer, Jackie, our technical director, they, oh yes, they do flop for me every, every show, but um, as everybody knows, the opioid crisis is a real issue for all of us, not only here in the city of Brockton, but throughout all the South Shore, the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, and across the United States. And we are blessed with the opportunity that BCA has given to us to be able to share with you, the viewers out there in Brockton Cable Access, information related to the opioid crisis. And we look forward to continuing to do that. And thank you very much. So the next show is, um, is Moses Rodriguez still here? Yes. Where's Moses? Moses. Joe can come up too, because Joe has been involved in that show. Joe, what were you, 14 years old when you started? Something like that? Younger. Younger, 13? City Councilor at large, Moses Rodriguez, who uh, was on our board. Then he was in the mayor's office. Then he got elected a city councilor, and he's still producing the show there. Very close to the 900 mark. Come on. You know what they say, uh, never put a microphone in front of a, I can't believe I'm going to say this, a politician's <laughs> mouth. Shame on me. But uh, you know what, um, I don't know if you guys have been watching some of the things that we do and say at the council meeting. Uh, BCA is uh, very close and dear to me, personally. Not just because um, I, um, I represent a segment of this community that relies heavily on the programming that's done by BCA, but I'm also a product of BCA. I started at BCA, I think we're going back now to the late 80s, um, before we had that beautiful building and some of the things that we've done in this community. But we don't have the opportunities that cities like Boston, Worcester, Springfield actually has uh, because we don't, re we don't have the media that they have. So we have to rely on our local cable access to bring information to the community. And that's why it's important for us to continue to support BCA and all that it does. Uh, we rely on uh, ratepayers to pay for the BCA itself. But it's, uh, it's money well spent because if we don't spend the money paying for the programming that we do, then we, we, we as a community wouldn't be able to know what's going on in our elections, what's going on in our sports, uh, because we don't have the benefits that uh, 
communities like Boston and some other places have. So please uh, continue to support uh, local programming, local access, because it's programming like this that actually keeps going back into the homes of the, the thousands of people that call Brockton home. And thank you very much for uh, all that you do, and thank you very much for appreciating what the volunteers do in this community as well. Thank you. I'm, I'm going to mention his name, and I, I didn't see him come in, and I'm not sure if he's here, but brilliant Avenir, Joseph John Baptiste. Um, do you see him, Jay, by any chance? We don't. Okay, he, he does a uh, Haitian show. He shares the Friday night spotlight with Akko Iris. They both come in on Friday nights, two studios. Um, the, the next one after that is Brockton Church of God, God Matthew Delesme. Did, did he come in, Jay, do you know? No, Matthew, okay. So we, we're we gonna go to, democratically speaking, Steve Kelly, the chairman of the Democratic City Committee, the newest host of Democratically Speaking, just taped another show. Thank you. You're welcome. This is my son, Keith, this is the camera crew. Cool. You know, shy. I really do appreciate this. You know, it's like, sort of comes with the territory the of... Uh, Need the mic. Nope. Sort of like comes with the territory having uh, the chair of the city committee. And unfortunately, last year, I was running for school committee. As a result, I couldn't host the show. But now we're getting started again. We've got just had Josh Zakem on as uh, secretary of state. I've had Bob Massey on. I'm going to have all the candidates come on. And all of the city council and elected officials that are part of the Democratic Party will have you on as well over the next couple of years. So thank you very much, Mark. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good job. The next show, um, our state representative uh, from this side of Brockton, Michelle Dubois is not here for good government, but she does a show on the channel to uh, let our constituents know what's going on. Um, next show after that, Gospel Vineyard, Ray Marshall was coming, but I don't see him out in the crowd. Um, Steve Demos is at show 991. He's just under 1,000, but he just had cataract surgery, so he's not here tonight. He'll be back to us after he goes to Greece for the summer. Um, Jensen Denoy does a show called Hero and You. I don't believe he's here at this point, and uh, I do know that the legendary Joan Madden is here someplace, okay? So jo Joan Madden takes the camera over to the Messiah Baptist Church and records their services, and she's been doing it for a while. Her show's an early morning show, um, and she's there on a regular basis, and Joan, I, I don't know how you have that energy. Which mic is? I would like to take this opportunity to, to say thank you to Mark and Jay and Aaron and Mike and Matt. Who, who am I leaving out? Sherry. Oh, Sherry! <laughs> I'd like to take this uh, opportunity to thank all of you. You've been so supportive of me, and I appreciate that. I'm not too good in front of the mic, so I'm leaving. I go. I do better behind the camera. <laughs> Thanks, Joe. Right here. One of the shows that was here about the time I got here in 94 and went back before that, like Moses was saying, we have a lot of long-time producers here. Uh, the local chapter of the NAACP does a show, and they have a dynamic new president, Phyllis Ellis, who's the producer of the show. And one of the two hosts, Tony Branch, is here. I think I, I don't think Dee Dee Calhoun is here, but come on up and get an award for all that you do for the community of Brockton. I'm not used to this. I'm a new president. Now I'm a producer and I'm getting all these awards. I love it. I think we have a great show. I think we have great host, Tony. 
Bishop Tony Branch. Thank you. God bless you. Didi Calhoun. Miles Jackson behind the camera. Yes. Danny Steele. I think we put on a great show and we're going to continue to do so. I'm not, I'm not going to talk very much because I can, but I won't. But thank you for this nice award. You're welcome. Next up, Barbara Barber, Barbara Gary now, who had, does a show called Needs to Be Seen. So when we were coming, coming up with a name for the show, she said it needs to be seen. So that's how we ended up with the name of the show. And she was also one of my students over at Massasoit Community College in my speech class. So we'll see if she practiced her speech. Um, I'm surprised to hear my name. I did not know my name was going to be called, but I am excited. And um, thank you. You're welcome. Uh, Joe has your reward. Thank you, Joe. All right, Bob. Peter's the, the producer, the mayor, and Darren Duarte are the executive producers of the show. And the mayor wanted to make sure he communicates with the residents of Brock. The mayor had to leave to be at the War Memorial Building for the Winter's End Ball, but I know that we just like keeping the community up to speed with what's going on in the mayor's office and around town in our show every week. So thank you so much, Mark, and thank you, Joe. Tella Brockton is another show, and that's produced by Sandra Delesme, and I don't believe she's here either, so we'll hold that for her. We already gave uh, Daniel his big award. Let's go to, and these are, since we have four shows that start with the word the, they're all in alphabetical order. So the first one up is the After Five Family Show. Steve Knight's the producer, and George Cataldo is the host. And George, you're welcome to come up with Steve if you want. I think George is staying stationary. I gotta put that up for you. Sherry, I'd like to say I'm gonna miss you. <laughs> All the help you have over the years. Mark, the crew, staff has been very helpful. Even though I had a short staff, I know, I, I know I'm really supposed to have a crew of my own. I know the crew has been very helpful to me and helping me even though I only have one cameraman to do my show. Jim Bragg has been very helpful to me. He was not here tonight. I asked him to come. And the crew has been very helpful. I don't know what I do without the crew. Well, we'll we'll help you get some more, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. and it's been going on, it's been going on for a great while. My show's pretty good. And a lot of people have been giving me a lot of feedback about the show. That's that's something I like. I like, and I like to say thank you for all the crew, that, all the all your help, and thanks to BCA for helping me out. Thank you, Steve. Thank you. And we know everybody cares about their show and cares about this community. Uh, the next one in alphabetical order is The Law, Your Money and You. Uh, it's produced by Roberta Sapphire, Sapphire from Sharon and um, sponsored Camille. Camille, I can never pronounce your last name, so you're going to have to help me. Come on up, Camille. expecting this <laughs> but thank you um, I'm honored to be here and um, we really uh, we, we produce our show in Sharon it plays in Brockton and uh, about 22 other cable TV stations throughout Massachusetts and it's called the Lawyer Money and You uh, we really admire what Mark has done here in Brockton and I think that um, when you look at the national news or even the quote-unquote local news it doesn't get any closer to the truth to the truth than it does in communities because that's where the truth comes out and we know that we're not fake news <laughs> right thank you thank you
The next one, um, the Psychic Mind, Lois Berman has done that show for years. Lois has had a lot of health issues. Um, she could not be here tonight, but she knows we're talking about her. <laughs> next up, um, we have a show called The Zone. It's not The Twilight Zone, it's called The Zone. I love the name. And Soraya Presume Calixte, I hope I said it right. Come on up, Soraya. Definitely an honor to be here, and my children and my husband is here as well, and I want to thank them. It's important to acknowledge that um, BCA is a powerful tool in this community, and having uh, the platform to depict all the the cultures or what's going on in the lives of um, this community, I think it's important. So hopefully, we'll continue to help them out and support them because they need us. Thank you so much for this opportunity. Thank you. Believe it or not, we have a 10 minute show on Brockton Community Access. That is because City Councilor from Ward 5, Ann Beauregard, talks fast, gets a lot of information in, and it goes a mile a minute no matter what she has a bundle of energy she's been involved as a volunteer for years in this community so her show is called ward five and ten council Beauregard, come on up You're all in Ward 5, and don't you forget it, you're in Brockton. You're not in anywhere else. This is Brockton. This is the best. So you're in Ward 5. I have the shortest show. I'm the shortest city council, but I'm also the toughest. Thank you, everyone, for being here tonight. Thank you for doing great things. Thank the team that makes Brockton BCA the best there is. All of them tonight, all their volunteers, and thanks for coming out. And have a great and wonderful safe spring. Thank you. Thank Talk about having fun, there we go. The next show, um, Brockton has so much diversity and that's something that we should be greatly proud of. I, I love living in the city, I have my whole life. We have a new community that's come here in recent years, the Angolan community, and we have a show called Weza, that's the name of the show, five letters, and Pedro Kisanga, is the producer of the show and he's ably assisted by some of the folks over here. If they would come up and get the award, that would be wonderful. Um, hi, my name is Salma Samba. Um, the show is called Weza. We started a little under a year ago. Um, there's actually 15 of us as a crew. But um, as the time actually came to start filming, everyone dropped like flies. So now they went from being 10 to being 2. My godfather, Pedro Crisanga, and I. So I really am thankful for this opportunity to be here. 
Originally, I was not supposed to be in front of the camera. I was supposed to be behind the camera, but they said, no, Summer, you got to be in front of the camera. So we split the show um, into two different segments, one for grown-ups, which my godfather handles and is in Portuguese, and one for the teenagers um, in Brockton, which I handle, and it's the, you know, the pop inside. So I want to thank the um, actual crew from BCA because they've been a big, big help. Um, thank you for laughing with us and just having a lot of fun and we hope to see more more of you guys and for you guys to see more of us so thank you so for the shows the last actual show is a show that has a number to start its name it's four deep sports and Dominic Damiano does the show. It's kind of a regional sports show. Uh, uh, the mayor's former chief of staff, Bob Buckley, helped bring it to Brockton. And Dominic, come on up. Wow, I wasn't expecting this. I'm definitely underdressed. <laughs> But um, like you said, we've been bringing uh, high school news sports from around the area to Brockton. And one of the things I was going to tell Jay, we're going to do a program note where we're actually going to start broadcasting on the radio the Brockton Little League, Downey Little League, so now everybody can hear what's going on and make the kids feel like a million dollars. So that's something we're going to do. And we're going to video it and give it to Jay. And everyone can start seeing these kids, your future athletes of tomorrow. And that's... And our motto is where high school youth athletes come first. And I want to thank everybody for uh, letting us program our show. Thank you. So a, a lot of what we do is thanks to all of you as the volunteers. Besides the responsibility to do public access programming, we do government access programming, cover the city council, the finance committee, and the school committee. But we also do high school sports, and that is very labor intensive. That involves the whole staff and volunteers, and we have six volunteers that help us. They're not all here today, but I'm gonna read their names. Uh, the first one is Katia Andrade. I know she's not here. Give her a round of applause. Anna Coots, Brock Curry. We gave him a big award last year, so we're going to thank him this year. Miles Jackson, our DJ extraordinaire. The next game, which will be the semifinals, and uh, we'll let you know on the um, on the um, bulletin board on Channel 58, and it'll um, give the time and date that we'll have that next game for you here at Brockton Community Access Sport. I love Brockton. I love working with the BCA personnel. They're like, it's like family. It's my 22nd year. I'm um, calling the sports with uh, guys like Peter and, of course, Mad Dog Mike, uh, Newbie Rato. You guys are great. You support me. God bless you guys. Thank you. And I knew Miles, and the first time I met him, he had a baseball hat on, and until he took it off, I didn't know that he and I shared pretty much the same airline. Uh, another person that can check out any time he likes, but he'll never leave either, is uh, Nui Rateau, who came back despite... Despite his commute to Lynn every day, makes me proud that he's a teacher in a vocational technical school. Newbie, come on up. We just want to thank you for all your efforts for PCA Sports.
need to say anything. He's just, he just does it. And last but not least on the sports crew is one of my favorite names I've ever heard, Konyev Yo-Yo. And I'm not kidding, that's his name. My son went to school with his brother and he's helped us a tremendous amount. He wasn't able to make it tonight. So that is the awards part of the ceremony. I don't know if Joe wants to close out and say anything else. No, it's the board members. Okay. The board members that are in the room, Joe is the president of the board. Tom Minicello is the vice president of the board. He's over at the bar area. Uh, Manny Centeo is the clerk. And, and we have two other board members who were not able to make it tonight. Uh, Brian Madden, who used to work at BCA, he's the newest member of the board. He was just confirmed by the council. And Donald Williams, Attorney Donald Williams, is also on the board. Carlos. Car and Carlos Ferrilla, is Carlos here? No. Carlos is not here. Okay, so we have a six-member board, uh, strong, and uh, you're gonna see a lot of good things from the board. So thank you all, we're gonna have dinner. We have wonderful music, and we also have kind of a red carpet area in the back, which uh, my staff went to great lengths. The staff at BCA, people have mentioned everybody already. Jay Miller, Director of Operations. Mike Simmons, Director of Programming. Aaron Tebow, uh, or Dr. Tebow, as some people would call him. Okay, uh, Sherry Dan in the back, Matt Nelson, and uh, Paul, Paul Mandeville still does work with us on sports as well. So thank you everybody and enjoy the night. Have some good food and we're just thankful for all of your efforts. Enjoy.